Hi, I'm Juan Garrett. I'm with Riverside Center for Innovation. I'm the executive director and been with the organization for over 25 years. We developed the curriculum to run the BizFit entrepreneurial training program. BizFit is a three-tier training program in tier three, which we help them flesh that idea and put it on paper to create a business plan and come out with an executive summary and start really having a draft of a capability statement. In tier two, we hone in on those businesses to make them refocus in on what they should be in the construction industry so that that way they can um, really be able to market and brand themselves as that specialty minority owned firm. In the tier one, we want to take those individuals and have them stop working in their business and have them start working on their business. I got involved with RCI because I was trying to become certified as a minority business enterprise and that's when I went to the office and I began conversing with Judy McNeil. She said, we have a program that you probably would be interested in, et cetera. Sounded good, I signed up. And as I got involved with it, I really started to see the value of it. It has really been a game changer for us. One of the main takeaways that I, I found, you can only grow so much if you're more or less winging it, you know? But when you have somebody sit down and say, hey, you're doing that wrong, or you need to talk to this person, or you know, why didn't you do it like this, or have you thought of that? And it's like, wow, I got a mentor, I got you know, support. You know? And taking those things, incorporating them with what you're already doing, it just makes for a nice synergy. This is our best year ever. A lot of that is due to um, Juan and Judy and their work. It accelerated like a lot of the things that would have taken me a lot of years in this business to learn and crunch that time down. My primary responsibility with Manchester Academic Charter School is working with families to create opportunities for youth and their families. RCI has just been real supportive. They deal with industries and businesses that's really massive, but then they still have a strong emphasis and a strong focus on the community itself. Collab 18 was actually um, a, a concept out of the um, One North Side initiative. So we brought a group of students down there to the facility and just found the space to be very innovative. Um, didn't really expect all that was going on right there in that little building. This past year with Collab 18, it, it kind of really took things off to another level. We had worked with uh, Pixar Studios this summer on a pilot program, um, it was called Pixar in the Box, for their education program, and they were interested in working with the school to see if they could take their approach to creating stories, scaffold it down for students, and, and really just test it out to see how students would respond to this, and if we could find a correlation with language arts and science and math using the Pixar approach. They was blown away with the facilities here. The, the camp went over extremely well, and a large reason the camp did go well was just the fact that we were in an area that was able to accommodate the large number of students that we had, as well as the presenters that came from all over the country, and everybody was able to just comfortably use the room and the technology that was available here at Collab 18. My name is Emily Keebler. I am the Kiva Pittsburgh Program Director at the Riverside Center for Innovation. And Kiva Pittsburgh is a partnership between Riverside, or RCI, uh, and Kiva, a separate nonprofit organization based in California. They have this great platform for small businesses where um, individuals around the world who believe in supporting small businesses can lend $25 at a time to help small businesses access the capital that they need to get started or to grow. Diego, who owns Davidson Painting, um, recently crowdfunded a Kiva loan, and his um, situation is a perfect fit for Kiva. He's been working in the field for a while, but a very new business owner, who probably would not be able to qualify for capital elsewhere, um, but knew that just by making a few purchases, he would be able to really take on larger jobs and expand his business. So he crowdfunded a $2,000 Kiva loan for painting equipment. The process went very smoothly for him and we were you know, glad to be able to help him. And he's somebody that I met at one of the workshops here at the DBRC. So I went to the workshop to you know, talk about Kiva and he said, wow, this can really help my business. This will you know, make huge, help me to make huge strides. These are the things, if you give us that dedication, we'll work with you and we'll introduce you to our resources and contacts to get you to that next level. There's a, there's a feeling here that eventually the gap that's happening here in an all-in and equitable 
region that that gap hopefully in the next five years begins to close. And, um, and we're just glad at Riverside, we're just gonna be a part of all of that. Mm -hmm.